Well, I'm out here in Westport. I usually go fishing over there on the docks. Right now I am on the rocks. Sun's a setting. I'm gonna see if I can catch a black rock fish or something else. Anyway, I'm just slow reeling. Little worm, jig, jig head of course, little worm. I'll show you in a second here as I bring it up. But the idea is, is just a slow reel, get them to bite. That's all it is. Just a little uh, greenish chartreuse kind of color with the bright yellow jig head. Anyway, I'm just gonna keep trying here along the rocks and maybe cast out a little deeper. Just before dark is when these fish usually bite. We are into May, so they might start biting. I haven't tried yet, so I'm gonna give it a try. Oh, there was a bite. It just was a small bump. I don't even know if the camera picked up the bump on the pole. These black rockfish also will set the hook themselves. They eat it and they pull away and that hook gets set. You don't have to rip it out of their mouth. So just a good pointer for you. Another Westport crabber coming in. I got a nice one on. Oh yeah, it's a little fighter. <laughs> That's what I came here for. Nice black rock fish. Oh, get him over to the bucket. He might be a good one to show how to fillet also it's actually got good size to him let me get him off the hook here and, and I can show him off better so see how he touches both sides of the bucket I like fish that are that size and bigger I could keep tiny ones two inches but that is a black rock fish so I'm gonna keep him See if I can catch a couple more, and then I'll possibly show you how to fillet these guys. Well, I ended up catching just one of these black rockfish. Also, I call them sea bass. Using these little rubber jigs, different sizes, lead jigs. I was gonna try, oh, what a mess. I was gonna try uh, these smaller ones, but I'll do it another time. I just felt they were a little small for the size of hook. Anyway, I'm going to go home and show you how to fillet these fish. And then I will possibly come back out here tomorrow if it's nice out. We're expecting rain, so see if I can catch some more right there. That one on. Oh, yeah. All right. That's a nice one, too. Okay, I'm going to hold this over the bucket and show you a little. Give me a second here. This is day two. I couldn't make a video just with a one fish wonder. So I ended up catching another one. In this video, you're going to see me talk about flaying a fish next. Well, that'll be at the end of the video. And I'm just going to show the one fish that I filleted from yesterday. So I just wanted to give you a little more video on. So he touches the bucket on both sides. He's going to go with dinner from yesterday. I haven't eaten that one yet. I'm going to make a dinner out of these. Yeah, it's raining a little bit. <laughs> I'm uh, not going to be too much longer here on this day too. If it keeps this up, I'm not really wearing rain gear. I have some sea lions coming my way and uh, I might video those and call it good. Oh, 
or or <laughs> they seen me uh-huh <laughs> yeah heavy rain not fun we got our pelicans coming in yeah here it is little black rock fish I'm going to show you how to fillet now some people flay one side then they flay the other I'm going to show you a little different this is so I can get the most meat out of it okay you're going to start here right next to the gill plate and you're going to cut kind of at an angle like so to get underneath the edge there a little bit and they'll get the most meat and then what I do is tip the knife and I kind of go along like this and shoot across by the butthole Sorry, I'm calling it the butthole, but that's what it is. So watch what I do here. Right on down the spine. And I shoot across right here. And then I fillet all the way down to the tail. Okay, now I'm right-handed. Left hand is a little harder for me. If you keep that fillet on the other side just stuck on there, you'll be able to get most of the meat and cut next to the spine here. So... I'm not a, it's not as easy for me to cut this side just saying so I come across like this I shoot over to the butthole and then I use the thickness of the meat on the other side to help me keep it along the spine now what I do is I lift the fillet up a little bit and I kind of cut along the spine try not to get the bones and I'll find the rib cage at the bottom here and you kind of want to cut along the rib cage like so and you just pull the knife down and until you get again down to that anal hole there once you do that you can take and just start the, the cut along the uh, to get the skin off I should say you cut up against the skin and then once you get this you kind of angle the knife you don't do it like this you kind of angle it right up against the skin and you go back and forth and you're pulling on the fish itself not the meat so you're just letting the knife sit still and you're pulling it back and forth and letting it cut off flip it over you know you did a good fillet when you see these little silvery edges that means you got everything against the skin except for a little bit of fat along here and there now another thing I'll do is I'll feel for the pin bones I got a little right here in the rib cage. Get that out of the way. So I'll feel for the bones that are in here. There's going to be a center set of pin bones that I'll cut away. Right now I'm finding fin bones right here. So I'll get rid of that. That's a perfectly good looking fillet. It's not big. This is a small bass, but anyway, on the other side, I will take it and I will cut it along the rib kind of backwards to what I was showing you and just bring it down like that easy peasy all right so again you get it started and once you get it started you just put a little pressure against the cutting board against the skin of the bass and you wiggle this back and forth like this and you just pull you pull pull this this direction like that and then again perfectly good looking fillet I feel for the pin bones I don't feel any pretty good oh, there's a couple right there so I'll just cut those away it's a little bit of meat waste but that's okay it gets the bones out got a few right here so there we go two good looking fillets all right And then what I'll do with these is probably cut them into little nuggets and maybe dip them in uh, some batter and just pan fry them. Or I'll just do an egg and cracker crumb with uh, butter and fry them whole. So they'll be good that way too. Anyway, if you liked this video, please press like. If you want to see more of my types of videos, hit the notification bell. And if you haven't already, Please subscribe, it'll go a long ways to help me make more videos.
Thank you for watching.